Good morning. Uh, yeah, um, just a quick update on flowers. Yes. Uh, Dendrobium NA, four days. These were first to open, these second, and these were the last. This is the only good one left. So that's just four days. But pretty. Uh, more stuff, more stuff. Yes, more stuff. Here's my nameless uh, nobile with, well, really hard to see on this camera, but pretty pink flowers, a pink yellow, and it smells like oranges, it's really, really soft smell. Uh, let me try to get another one in frame. Oh. So you can see the difference, if there is any. This is the Prima Donna I got from Roger. And it is, yeah, it's basically the same flower. Although this one is, yeah, well, a little more color, this one has hasn't been open for that long so but yay is yeah this one has a little more pink than this one <coughs> and surprise surprise oh this one will have to be from how oh, above Look at that. Oh. Well, now look at it. Epidendrum radicans. It is a small flower. And they grow upside down. <coughs> and by the looks of it, Oh, that bud is going to open today, same as this one, this one and this one will open today. Oh. The lip is absolutely gorgeous. Why don't you focus? Look at that. Yeah, really, really pretty. I'm pleased with this one. Yeah, I got a big job today. Uh, Everything needs uh, a little bit of water and there are some plants that need maintenance. But I think you can see what the main problem is for today. Mealies. And they're suddenly springing up everywhere. And I really don't like that because I have tried to get rid of them with hydrogen peroxide and alcohol and nothing seems to work that's a mealy bug so I'm gonna have to do that by hand and this is the way to do it a mealy bug and you will always be left with some white residue so this can be an OCD job 
Hou. But they're basically everywhere. Even my little maxillaria that lives in the kitchen has mealies. So, a bad word is in order. Ooh. This one, oh, there you go. Well, you can see the flowers are going. And it was in full flower when I got it, so I already cut off a spike. But there's the last spike. And yeah, more stuff. More stuff. Hold up. And I need to do something about this. This takes up a lot of space, so... Yeah, this needs a stake and some wire to get everything together. So I can fit some more because... Yeah, almost all my Catlias are doing this and all the Nobilites are free to grow as they please and it has to stop. Yeah, these three need attention. Uh, first up is the Dyneema polybulbum. And I'm not sure who had this in a video. I believe it was Brenda from Orchid Delirium. Could be wrong, but this is my polybulbin, and well, yeah, this is two years old. At least I have it for two years, and it just started to grow. It has a lot of roots, and here's a new growth. Here's a new one. There's a new one starting. But I want the roots closer to the media, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, but is it wise to do that? Should I just let it ramble on? Like the great song by Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> ID problem. This is not a stellis. And why do I say that? Well, if you Google the name stellis, all you see are, hold up, yeah, all you see are plants like this. A little more uh, delicate, like uh, Plutothalis. I have one. Excuse me, Faith. Wait. So these two look more like the Stellis I can find. Than this one. It makes bulbs and Stellis doesn't. So, yay! A giant screw up by the ones that sold me this. Yeah, now I got it. I can show you. This is my only Masdevelia I have left. And, well, yeah, as you can see, it has a bit of a mealy problem. It needs to be watered today, and it gets watered from the bottom. It stands in a little tray, and I fill that up, and the moss soaks up the, the water. It doesn't get fed very often. And yeah, this could be a problem. 
But you can see here, new roots are forming along the base. There you go. Look at that new growth. This is the Massavalia Selfie Orion. And well, I lost half. And since it lives in the kitchen, it's picking up. Okay, uh, one more thing to go. This is where it lives. It gets a little bit of sunshine every morning. Uh, a little, little bit. And I just gave it some water. I fill up the tray. And it sucks it up and it gets fresh water when top and bottom are crispy and it's crispy at the moment so there's a little bit of food in it a yeah, very small amount uh, MPK and CalMag add up to 70 I think so it's it's on a diet This is one of the <coughs> three mini fells I have, and well, yeah, you see it's done flowering, but I discovered this just now, and I think you can see it. There's a new flower spike, but it's a terminal spike. So, this will flower one last time and then it's done. I believe they don't flower again after they made a terminal spike, so... Looks kind of silly. Yeah, no more room for new leaves. It's making new roots. And I'm gonna let it live in this small pot because, well, yeah. Why not? So, terminal spike. It's a goner. Yeah, I need to get cracking because, uh, as I said, a lot of stuff to do. Everything has to be watered. <coughs> Vendas are hydrating. And, yeah, there's a lot of stuff happening, by the way. Uh, hold up. Most noticeably is this one. That's the new growth on a uh, Dendrobium speciosum. Something, something princess. <coughs> Osmoglossum has still one spike to go. Um, Trigiopilia is showing the bulb. Brassia longissima with an enormous growth. Uh, more stuff, more stuff. Yeah, we have more stuff. Uh, hold up. Mm, no, not hold up. There's the <coughs> Caperstenia tolimensis. And as you can see, the strange band has corrected itself and the bud is still here, so I'm fairly confident that will grow on. More stuff. Uh, <coughs> no, not more stuff. We're off 14 minutes. Uh, Those are getting a bit problematic. Uh, that one as well, it's creeping up against the other one. Look at the size of those buds, it's absolutely enormous compared to these. There's the other spike. Whoa. Not nearly done. Full of tasty happy sap. 
and this is really sweet super sweet uh, yeah I mounted both uh, a film cakeies I got from uh, Anita so let's see how they will fare in the not too distant future and that's it guys uh, stuff to do stuff to do that's 200 plus orchids I think oh uh, little update for Martin there's my peristeria and it's really really growing uh, let me see does it made any new roots uh, did it make any new roots well yeah you can see there's a bit of a algae build up ah an root nouveau and we and there as well really heavy um, <clears throat> well yeah now I'm at it Zygopetalum and yeah this bud is blasting so I'm gonna take it up yeah now I'm not sure oh uh, Varsivixiella formerly known as Cochleantus it can't be more than a week yeah I need to look at those those are my puffs uh, yeah this stuff has to be done uh, Digna I hope you're watching this is the final blue new growth and new growth with roots mm, two new growths in fact oh. this is very very loose it can break off yeah that needs to go in its own little pot today uh, three seedlings yeah now I'm going to stop guys because okay one last <coughs> oh there are the catasitane and where were you there's a new root and still no water but this one it can't wait too long nah, no new roots visible yet same as with this one I really hope they reach the bottom of the pot before the bulbs are spent because that doesn't take too long uh, yeah a touch of green later